was in sixth grade, I had to do a personal science project. This science project was a big deal. We talked about it all year. By we, I mean my science teacher, who we'll call Mrs. Jane, talked about it all year. On the first day of class, we sat down at our lab tables. A big presentation was shown on the smart board. September, October, November, each had their own slides. When we got to March, it just had a giant smiley face. This will be when you're working on your personal science projects, Mrs. Jane said, grinning from ear to ear. She smiled out at us. A timid class of 12 sixth graders looked back at her. Oh, you'll have fun! As the fall months went by, the personal science project was talked about more and more. We learned about independent and dependent variables, the scientific method, and how to do background research. We drew pictures of birds, set fire to leaves, and grew bugs in bags. The mysterious personal science project loomed in our midst. I wondered what it would be like. It'll be easy, I told myself. I hoped. But really, I wasn't sure. Personal science project sounded big, scary, and independent. Independent was the worst. Independent, I knew instinctively and would soon come to learn through experience, really meant one thing. Research paper. And there is nothing worse than a research paper. No, it'll be fine. It'll probably be so easy, sixth grade me told herself, not to worry. Gosh, was I in for it. We grew more bugs and bags. We peered into their Ziploc bag homes. We drew pictures of them and calculated their reproduction rates. We took notes on the periodic table. Before long, we were snacking on candy corn and wearing cat ears as we wrote down definitions from Mrs. Jane's presentations. On Halloween, I went home and trick-or-treated, my only care being getting to the house where they hand out those big Her Hershey chocolate bars. You know the ones I'm talking about. The big ones. The next morning, I counted my stock. Too many paydays. Hmm. I'll have to do something about that next year. I did my Francis Bacon worksheet for Mrs. Jane. Let 
life was good. I unwrapped a payday, bit into slightly too hard, slightly too caramelly peanuts, and packed my backpack. Off to school. Just a normal day, I thought. Boy, was I wrong. When the bell for third period rang, I picked up my bag, which at this point had about five fewer paydays, and marched off to science class. <laughs> I walked in the door, sauntered to my seat at the lab table farthest from the door, and got out a piece of paper. The class poured in. I chatted with my lab partners. But then, everything changed. The light switched off. The smart board switched on. The personal science project begins, it said in shiny silver letters. Uh-oh. This was not good. Not good at all. The class took a collective fearful inhale. <gasps> Mrs. Jane galloped into the room wearing a witch's hat and a baking apron that read, Can't cook, can dance. Welcome, class, cooed the transformed Mrs. Jane. She giggled hollowly. <laughs> Today is the beginning. My stomach turned. Mrs. Jane took off the witch's hat. I wasn't sure if this was bad or good. She started flipping through the presentation. Slide nine read, pick something you are already interested in. You had a stock image of a kitten playing with a ball of yarn. Pick something you are already interested in, read Mrs. Jane. She looked out at the class with a wild smile. She called on a confident blonde girl in the front. We'll call her Janice. Janice, what are you interested in? My stomach turned. Just the thought of being asked a question like that terrified me. I did not have any interest and didn't know how to answer this question. Poor Janice. Janice, however, was, like I said, confident. Dogs, she smiled. She nodded her head. The class laughed, with Janice, not at her. The class always laughed with Janice. Janice bobbed her head again, and her straight hair bounced up and down. Mrs. Jane's fangs came out as she grinned. Perfect, Janice, she said. Mrs. Jane took a step forward toward Janice's lab table. Do you have a dog, Janice? Mrs. Jane asked. She tilted her head to the right, smiling down at Janice. I have two, said Janice. Two Great Danes. She smiled up at Mrs. Jane. So, class, if Janice wanted to do an experiment involving dogs, what could she do? I could do how the bowl color affects how much they eat, said Janice. Yeah, exactly. That kind of thing. Okay, let's get someone else. Sophie, don't hide from me back there. What are you interested in? Shit. I stared at her dark brown eyes, curly hair, and lopsided smile. Her head started to tilt. I stopped myself from tilting my head with her. Shoot. What am I interested in? I blinked. The world slowed. Everything stopped. My mind was blank. Then, it hit me. Art. Art is always the safe answer. Art, I said from my seat in the back. I like to paint, I added. Yeah, really drive it home. Haha, ha. she thought she had me, but I maneuvered. Art, said Mrs. Jane. What could Sophie do with art? She trailed off. Why is she speaking about me in the third person, I wondered. A few days later, we had to have an individual conference with Mrs. Jane. A few days later, we had to have an individual conference with Mrs. Jane about what we wanted to do our projects about. I was a wreck. I had no idea what I wanted to do my project on, and furthermore, 
I didn't know how to figure it out. I didn't know what I was interested in. I wanted this Jane woman to just tell me what I was interested in, and then I could do the project. But, strangely enough, it didn't work like that. Soon, it was my turn to have a conference with Mrs. Jane. I walked timidly up to her desk at the front of the classroom. I told her again that my interest was art. When she asked for other interests, I told her I didn't know. When she asked for more details about art, I told her I liked to paint. Again, I told her I liked to paint. You could do an experiment about paint drawing, she told me. You could watch different pigmentation levels of paint dry and see which dries the fastest. Which is what I did for my sixth grade science project. I watched paint dry.